How to maintain a friendship after a kiss. Sometimes things happen between friends that step over the boundaries of mere friendship. One common thing to happen between friends is a kiss. Kisses are normal when people have intimate feelings for one another or are just excited and in the mood for physical contact. Sometimes kisses might happen because we are emotional for some reason and just act on our feelings without thinking. Regardless of the reason, many people want to just remain friends after a kiss. Luckily, with clear communication and some effort, you and your friend will remain friends after your kiss. Communicating after the kiss. Take a break if you feel you need one. For many people, it might be helpful to put a little distance between them and the friend they kissed. Putting a little distance between you might give you the strength and the perspective needed to continue the friendship. Take a break for a month or so if you think you need a cool down period. If you want to take a break, make sure you let your friend know about it. You don't want to just disappear. That might hurt your friendship. Try saying something like, I feel pretty confused after we kissed, and I need a little time. I still want to be your friend, but it would be good for me if we took a break for the next month. If you want to continue seeing your friend, try to avoid spending one-on-one -on -one time with them. Consider avoiding certain activities with your friend for a while, such as drinking or any other activities in which both of your inhibitions might be lowered. Talk about it. The first thing you should do after the kiss is talk about it. Talking about what happened is the first step in making sure you can maintain your friendship. Ultimately, your discussion will let you both agree upon how you want to act and how you want to proceed. Share your feelings about what happened. Say something like, I feel we really need to talk about what happened. Discuss your concerns about what it means for your friendship. Say something like, I'm worried that the kiss might hurt us as friends, let each other know if you have deep and sincere feelings that go beyond friendship. If either of you do, it is best to know how the other feels. This way you'll both move forward as friends with full knowledge of how the other person feels. Come to an agreement. After you've talked about the kiss, you should both come to an agreement about how you want to handle it and move forward. Coming to an agreement will enable you both to know how you should both act. In your agreement, you should both try to come to an understanding about how you want to move forward as friends, try to agree upon how you'll handle the kiss in terms of telling other friends, try to agree upon how you'll want to maintain the relationship going forward, try to establish some boundaries, like no more kisses or less physical contact. Continue to communicate. While your initial conversation might have solved a lot of problems and set the tone for a continued friendship, one or both of you might still be confused about your relationship. At the same time, one or both of you might still have some feelings for each other. This is why it is essential to continue communication in order to avoid confusion. Continue being open and honest about your feelings. Say something like, I think we should be completely open about how we feel about the kiss and each other. If your friend wants to talk to you, encourage them to do so. If it works for your relationship, talk about your feelings on a regular basis. This could be weekly, or it could be more frequent. 